in my previous video tutorial i showed you about jwt authentication and authorization in the spring boot application you can find the video url in my description however some of my viewers pointed out some issues that needed to be addressed thank you guys i appreciate your suggestion this helps me a lot to understand and learn new things here is the issue running the project let's send a request to one of the protected uris maybe in the demo uri i am sending this request without a token our server responded with a 403 status code so what is the problem this should not be 403 the status code should be 401 why here is what 401 and 403 status code means a 401 unauthorized response means you are missing the right credentials to access a secured endpoint. It's like you are trying to open a locked box without a key. The box will not open without the right key. In our case, without a valid token. On the other hand, 403 status means it is forbidden. This means the system knows you, you have the valid token, but you cannot access it here. Though you have entered the building, you do not have the permission to enter the room. It's like you have a general ticket to enter into a concert, but with that ticket, you are trying to enter the VIP section. That is a summary of the status codes. Now let's head to the coding. As always, I have provided a source code link in the description. You can check the full code from my GitHub repository. So let's start coding. We will solve this issue with a custom access denied handler. To do this in our security config class, inside security filter chain method, we need to register our exception handling. After this, the user details service add exception handling. Inside lambda expression, parameter is e arrow e dot access denied handler. Here, we need to provide our access denied handler. I will create a custom access denied handler. Open the sidebar. Inside the config package, create a new Java class. Custom access denied handler. This class implements access denied handler. We need to implement the method. Let's implement it. Inside handle method, set response status to 403. If a user attempts to access a URL they lack permission for, the server will respond with a 403 forbidden status code. Head back to the security config. Here, create a new field variable, private final custom access denied handler, name access denied handler. We need to add this in the constructor. Remove this constructor code. Now, generate a new constructor, select all and generate let's move it to the new line so that you can understand it here is an error let's check the custom access denied handler class here i forgot to add component annotation giving it we are heading to the security config class error is solved scroll down to our code here inside this access denied handler pass our access denied handle so it will now display 403 only if the user does not have the permission to access that endpoint it's time to add an exception handler for unauthenticated users to do that after this exception denied handler add dot authentication entry point uh, we need to pass a new instance of the http status entry point this needs an HTTP status code to be set. In our case, it is HTTP status dot unauthorized. So now if the user tries to access any secured endpoint without a token or with an invalid token, it will respond with a 401 status code. That's a simple fix. Let's run the project from the postman. Let's send a request to this demo endpoint without the token. See, here we are getting 401 response. Now let's try with a valid token. We need to register a new user. Head to the register tab. Register a new user with role user. Change the role to user. 
send a request a new user is registered and the token is generated copy the token in the demo tab authorize select bearer token paste the newly generated token send request sure enough we are now authorized to access this with the status code 200 now try to access the admin only url as our user does not have permission to access this so it should return 403 let's see what happens paste the token send the request sure enough we are getting 403 error let's register a new user with admin role here is the token for the admin user copy it go to the admin url tab paste the token send request this is now accessible with status code 200 and that's the simple fix this is a relatively small tutorial but i hope it will help you in your project soon i will be back with another tutorial till then happy coding